now we will discuss about the places where animals live we have uh, discussed about the living habit and now we will discuss where do they live animal that live on land are called land animals they can you can can you name three land animals you have to name it here and send me the picture for correction different animals live in different places some animals such as polar bears live in cold region other like camels live in hot desert so polar bear live in the cold climate on poles so their name is also as polar bear which is very uh, cold region they live in very cold region and other than that camels live in hot region hot desert area animals which live in water are called aquatic animal whichever animal are found in water under the sea or river ocean are called aquatic animals for example fishes octopus whales are some aquatic animals animals that live on both land and water are called amphibians some of the amphibians are frog crocodile and turtle the animals which can live on both land and water means which can survive on land as well as in water too are called amphibians for example some of the examples are frog crocodile and turtles now special homes of animals we make special homes for animals to keep them with us now let's see some special homes of different animals there are different names given to the animals houses let's see what are the names given dogs dog lives in kennel fishes lives in aquarium cow and buffaloes live in shade hen lives in coop horse lives in stable the place where ant live is called ant hill rabbits live in burrows spider lives in web pig lives in stay similarly bee lives in beehive so these are some different places where animals live some animals are live in your house that you can see every day some of them are rat lizard and mosquitoes some animals make their own houses the mouse and rabbit dig the hole to live in some animals look for a shelter they can rest the lion live in the open or in a den so these are some different places where different animals live now let's learn different animals eat differently different kind of animals have different eating habits we can classify the animals according to the food they eat some animals such as rabbits cows goats eat only plants they are called herbivores these animals have sharp and broad front teeth to cut grass and leaves they swallow their food when the rest when they rest they bring the food back into their mouth and chew again so the animals which uh, which eat only plants for living they are called herbivores next the animals like lion tiger python leopards etc eat only flesh the animals which are dependent only on 
flesh for their survival they are called carnivores herbivores are the animals which eat only plants and carnivores are the animals which eat only flesh the carnivores have sharp pointed and curved teeth to tear flesh they chew bones with the help of grinding teeth at the back of their mouth now next is the animal that eat both plant and flesh are called omnivores like hen dog cat bear etc are omnivores omnivores are the animals which can eat both plants and flesh these kind of animals are called omnivorous animals a dog sense of smell is 1000 times stronger than humans that's why dogs are used for uh, by detectives to detect anything now next is scavengers scavengers are animals that eat flesh of dead animals some of the scavengers are vultures and hyenas so scavengers are the animals which eat flesh of the dead animals they don't hunt animals for eating them but they eat the flesh of the animal which have already died next is earthworms swallow the soil that contain plants and insect frog and lizards use their tongue to catch insect they can uh, they, uh, they then swallow them snakes also swallow their food so these are the different ways how different animals have their food special body features different animals have different body features according to their habitat let's see what are the different features of different animals animals have different types of head body leg and tails most animals have four legs some have hooves paws and calves some animals like cow buffalo and rhinoceros have horns they use their horns to protect themselves birds have wings to fly they also have beaks which help them to do many things so here you can see different animals have different body parts which help them in different way most animals have tails different animals use it differently a kangaroo uses it to jump long distance kangaroo uses its tail to jump a squirrel uses its tail to climb the tree and the monkey uses its tail to go to swing from one branch to other so you uh, here you uh, you can see different animals different animals here kangaroo uses its tail to jump squirrel uses to climb the tree and monkey uses to swing same tail of different animal is used in the different way now in fact fact trivia it is given camel have three eyelids to protect their eyes from blowing sand so this is also a special body feature of the camel now let's see uh, extinct animals extinct animals are the animals which are no more alive we can see their bones or their structure their skeleton in museums have you ever seen a dummy of a dinosaur anywhere they no more exist on the earth such kind of animals are called extinct animals the animals 
which are no more alive are called extinct animals for example here you can see dinosaurs are extinct this is the picture of dodo dodo was a flightless bird it was a big bird which was flightless it can't fly next quagga was the subspecies of zebra this are uh, these are quaggas which are which were the subspecies of zebra this is bully mammoth this is kind of elephant with long tusk and long teeth so i hope you have learned new things in this chapter thank you all